Hey guys, it's Supin in here, and today I've got a tutorial video for you guys. Haven't made one of these in a while, so here it is. And a bunch of you guys have been asking for this one um, since, well, apparently not many of you know how to actually edit an intro template. Um, so yeah, and I thought it's, I guess it's about time that I make one since I posted so many templates so um, here we go so to start it off what you do is you go to the description of any video and you download that person's intro t intro template and when you download the template you get most of the time you get a file that looks like this and what this is is a zipped file you need either winrar or 7-zip to unzip the file and actually get into the contents so what you do is you go and download that program. If you already have the program, then uh, whoop to do you can skip that this step that I'm about to talk about, which is um, actually going uh, to WinRAR or 7-Zip and getting it. So um, WinRAR is basically free. Um, I don't know if you have to pay for it anymore because um, back then I didn't pay for it. So I don't know if you have to pay for it now is what I meant. Um, so what you do is you go to WinRAR, you can search up on Google, it's pretty easy to find. Uh, I may put a link in the description if I don't forget to do so. So uh, yeah, what you do is, once you have WinRAR, you right click this and you click Extract to Super Indian Effects or whatever the name of the, um, the template file is. And you click that, I already have it, so I'm going to exit that and that file is right here. So you get something that looks like this and uh, oh yeah by for the sake of the video I'm using the 500 sub intro template that I made uh, because it has a bunch of stuff in there that my newest template that doesn't really have so um, what you do is you uh, no, what you have is you have this uh, this folder thing that you get and you can easily open that because it's a normal folder it's unzipped and everything so in this you have a bunch of stuff you've got your instructions your preview the actual stuff the mats and all that I'll get to all that but instructions need to read and please read the instructions because some people's instructions they don't really show you anything but mine actually does like the font and which one to render and what's the actual final product and um, all this and what plugins you need to install before actually doing the uh, or actually before editing the intro template itself and to install the materials so um, if you want the intro to look exactly like the preview that I've provided then you need to install all these plugins and install the materials that I provided and do the fonts and stuff so read through all this um, and um, yeah most people provide the instructions for a reason uh, you guys should read through these if you actually want to make it exactly like the way you want it to be, you know what I mean. Okay, so you exit out of that. Next thing you want to do is install the mats. Most people provide the mats. Some provide the mats within the Cinema 4D document. So um, what you do is, uh, for the mats, you open up your Cinema 4D file, which I have right here. Your Cinema 4D file you can find that in your Windows C drive um, and under uh, Maxon well I just have mine pulled out onto my desktop so what you do is you go into your cinema 40 file I have R17 uh, you go in click library you click browser and then you just drag and drop this into that I'm not dragging and drop it into this because I already have it in there somewhere I have a bunch of stuff so yeah you exit out of that and now you actually start editing the thing. You click the Cinema 4D document itself. That way you can edit your name and stuff, you know. Uh, my computer's kind of slow right now, so it's taking a little bit. Let's see here. There we go. So, we have the nice little intro that I made. Yes. Okay. So now, uh, you want to edit into your name. So, you click over here to change text. Click this little drop down thing. You click one mode text. And wait for it to load uh, and then you click shift click the other one and then you just go to this text box thing right here and put in your name I'm from for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna put the word text just to change it up there we go and you click that and but a boom it's changed and 
most people's names won't be automatically um, centered so what I do is click these two and then click middle or no sorry whoops not middle click it's keep it to left and then go over here and just change it to the center and see which one is centered you know what I mean that, that was my fault don't change it to middle because I thought that would work that did not work so um, just you just move the axis to the middle point and the middle point is usually right there so move it there there we go that should be the middle um yeah that's pretty much it uh, and then you just render it out and the way you render it is uh, you go into settings you change your render settings if you want to be in it to be in 4k then go ahead change it to 4k don't mess with this don't mess with this you can change the resolu resolution if you want uh, go to save and then what you do is this is the important part go to comp compositing project file click on all these don't click uh, include timeline marker if you want if you don't want the um the little lines that come with cinema 40 into after effects so you click save project file and you go to desktop you create a new folder and save it into that that would be your dot aec file and then you go to this you click this and you save it into another uh, into the same um, same folder that you save the AEC file so it will look something like this um, this is another project um, it would look pretty much a lot like exactly like this it would have your AEC and then all the frames um, so yeah and then once you're done with that yeah you click all this it's PNG it's, it should come like this um, so yeah and then you click render which is this little button right here um, this thing so uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you shouldn't have any difficulties with the mats if you followed my instructions and actually uh, installed the mats into the Cinema 40 folder. So uh, now you can exit out of this once it's done all um, uh, uh, rendering and stuff. Click, no, I'm not clicking that. So um, okay. Um, now what you do is you actually um, go into After Effects. See, I've provided the shockwave and stuff, so. I'll show you if um, if it doesn't show up on the thing. So click After Effects. Um, wait for that to load. And uh, yeah, this is the pre-render. Uh, this actually has everything in it for you. Or well, you know, if you want to just re-upload it with a higher quality, other than just downloading my video, you have that. Okay. So um, it's here. If it wants to, if you want to come over here, come on, computer is derping out all right here we go we've got the template itself here so I'm um, gonna close all this up uh, let's see here. close this up all right so what you do is to start off you double click in this big box area double click that and you go and find where you saved it let's see uh, where did I save it this one and you go in and it should look exactly like this but it shouldn't say name it should say your name uh, you click the AEC file the thing that you can't open through standard windows so you click that click import and this folder should pop up whatever you named it this folder should pop up I double click the, uh, the comp and this should pop up it's just a normal thing with your name and thing stuff on it now what you do is you left click and just just do that just drag it on there click control C go to the comp that's already there go click this existing frame ex existing PNG sequence and click control V and these two are the new ones these two are the old ones click the old ones and click delete that's all you do and you've got your intro but a boom it's done um, for some people this song and another free shockwave m might be like this weird um, error type thing bar thing that pops up what you do is you just double click that or for me I can't really double click it but um, what you do is you you double click that and then you'd go replace footage file and then you find that file which is included in the folder that you extracted so that's pretty much it you've made the intro um, there's really nothing else to it. Um, you just click render. Uh, where is it? Okay. Yeah. To render it, you click render this comp, which is this folder. It says it right there. Render this comp. You go click that comp. 
click composition at the top click add to render queue and then I'm just gonna let this load this is being this is being annoying that's why there we go come on there we go okay now you click best settings change your settings if you want if you want it to be in wireframe quality then go for it uh, I'm not judging you uh, you click OK go to lossless I change it to QuickTime if you have QuickTime uh, if you don't have QuickTime please I, I recommend you download that because it's really the small all your file sizes so it's good it's good click OK and then you click this output too and then you save it to wherever you want to save and then you just click render and you've got your intro and you'll have preview you'll have what looks like the preview and I'd play it uh, I guess I guess I'll play it it's over here okay it's kind of loud okay I'll cut that in footage okay okay all right so that's pretty much it uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you have any other questions uh, please comment down below and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching uh, subscribe like and all that stuff that's cool all right see you guys peace